Hey everyone, this is Gina from Glam Harris. I'm gonna show you how to do a really cute, high dramatic ponytail with clip-in extensions. These are brand new, they are 22 inches and they are custom ordered and they're from Glam Harris. And they're, and they're mine. <laughs> I'm always ordering for my clients so I actually ordered myself a set. So what I'm gonna do today is like a really high pony. Um, it's gonna be really long. I'm gonna have a little bit of height in the front. It's gonna just be smooth and sleek. So how you start off is putting your hair up in like a partial ponytail, maybe like half of your head. I put the ponytail right where I want the height of the pony when I'm all done. So it can be higher than that. It can be on one of the sides. It could be lower, but that's kind of where you want to start with it. So you get most of your hair up just in a basic like partial pony. I'm going to start with, um, I open up all the extensions, but here is how it is when you close it. And that's how you open it. So I'm going to put this on the base of my scalp to clip it in. If you wear your hair um, with the extensions and it's down, you would just clip them in like this. But I'm going to be turning them around because I'm doing um, a ponytail with them. So I'm just going to clip them all along the perimeter of the, like, the part line. So some of it I just have to go by feel. Like the front, obviously, I can see, but the back I might have to just go by feel. You want to just clip it in right along the edge where the part is all the way around and then i'm going to take the hair around it to kind of cover it up clipping extensions are so much fun because you can do so many things with them so the back want part um where the clips are i'm going to turn it around Just kind of get it like where the part is. You can use any, like some of them are a little shorter and some of them are longer. You can use any of them. It really doesn't matter. Whatever is easiest for you. I feel like the shorter one's a little easier to like wrap all the way around. If your hair is really thick, which mine isn't, you might have to use like more of them um, to create the amount of thickness on the bottom that you want. So I'm just going to put some on the sides here. And just try to get them as flat to your scalp as you can. Again, I'm going to take the part, the clip part. I'm going to turn it around. And you can kind of tilt upside down a little bit if you need to. Have gravity help you out a little bit. And kind of flip your hair back. Now I'm going to do one more on this side. And then you want to save a couple for the front too. So here's the clip side. Flip it around. A lot of it you just have to kind of go by feel. And just make sure you get the clips in there really good. If you don't have the clips in there really good, like just go back and like reclip it. Uh, normally I would go completely upside down, but it's a little hard for me to show you guys what I'm doing. So it might make it easier when you're doing the pieces in the back to like flip forward all the way. So that's what they're like clipped in. And I just like to take a little peek and see where I'm at as I'm, before I like put it up in the ponytail and just kind of like hold it back and just see if it looks like if my real hair looks somewhat blended in with it. I feel like my hair's not that thick, so I feel like that's probably enough. And I'm gonna do this like cool thing with like the ponytail. So I feel like I probably don't need any more, but I might put um, the shorter ones in the front here. It's a little hard to tell because my hair is so dark, but and it probably looks weird now. And the clipping extensions, there's eight to 10 pieces. And so these are like the skinny side guys. So if you're gonna put them in your sides and your hair is down, you'd put them there. But I'm going to just add a few more on the front here. I don't have a mirror. I'm just trying to do it in front of the reflection of the camera. So it's a little bit harder. It'll be easier for you guys when you have a mirror you're doing it in front of. Okay, I think that's all good. So I'm going to leave the bang part out because I want to create a little bit of 
height with it. And you can actually like clip this or put a rubber band or something to kind of keep it out of the way. Or you don't have to. I'm just gonna wrap this around to, just so I can see what I'm doing with the rest of it. Okay, now I'm gonna put it in a ponytail. Just make sure I like what's going on. You see my real hair is right here and these are the extensions. So if I brushed it and fluffed it, it would probably all blend, um, but I'm gonna do something different with it, so I'm not worried. You can also put it in like a big braid or like two braids or like a fishtail braid. You can do all different things with it once you have it. This is like the base idea, um, what to do with it for um, getting it up in a pony. So I'm just gonna take my extension brush and you can kind of like brush over all of your hair. And then I'm gonna take another rubber band and I am gonna secure all of it in there. Don't worry if it's not super perfect or smooth here. You can always go back and fix that after. But it should look pretty smooth back here. If there's like a few little bumps, it's not a big deal. You can fix that later. So I'm gonna take all the hair and wrap it around the rubber band that I originally had in my hair to start off with. You see my assistant over here? He's always in the videos. Okay, just wrap it all the way around. I only wrapped it around twice. I feel like that's pretty good. It feels pretty secure. I don't know if it would go around a third time. I'll put a little bit of hairspray to kind of smooth the sides a little. And you can use your fingers or you can use the extension brush if you need to. Um, I used to do this style when I had permanent extensions, so the extension brush really helps kind of smooth everything out, smooths all the bumps out. Um, and you can just brush it up everywhere that you need to. Um, this part, you I mean, you can do all different things. Like you could have like a swoop. If you had shorter hair, you could just like, maybe like part it and like leave it out. Maybe put like a soft curl in there. I think I'm gonna just kind of give it a little bit of height. Cause I, I like a little bit of height, so I'm just gonna go with what what I originally planned on. I'm taking the Glam Hairs Wonder Comb. I'm just gonna tease it up a little bit. <laughs> when you know when you've teased your hair enough, if it's standing straight up, once you've teased it. This is like the best teasing comb. I love this comb. I sell it for $15 and I would definitely recommend everyone getting them. Some of my clients actually have two of them. <laughs> one for upstairs, one for downstairs, one for when they travel, you know, one for their gym bag and one for, you know, their bathroom. Okay, so I'm just gonna create a little bit of height here. A little bit more spray. And at this point, you could actually just, um, you know, leave it. You don't have to do anything else with the pony. I mean, I think it looks pretty cool. If I knew I was going to leave it like that, I probably would have straightened my ends a little bit because they're kind of sticking out. I have a little bit of wave to my hair, but um, I'm going to do something else with it. So I'm not too worried about it. And this is a really good comb to kind of like pick up some of the hair if you need some more lift. I always like a little bit of height in the front of my hair. <laughs> height somewhere in my hair, I should say, whether it's the front or not. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather my hair like every couple inches and I'm just going to put a couple rubber bands in there and then I'm going to tease it and get it kind of full. So I'm going to start in the top. You just want to get a rubber band that matches your hair or you can um, have a, get a clear rubber band. And then I would recommend too, uh, which I'm not doing now, but um, keep checking your hair as you're going through it. Like just take a mirror and take a look at the back and see if you like what's going on. Cause you can always like kind of fix it before you carry on. Okay, 
Okay, now I'm gonna spread it out a little so this is a little fuller. I'm gonna put a little bit of hairspray so I can work with it a little bit. I'm gonna just tease it a little bit so each section is full. I'm using my Glam Hairs Wonder Comb for that. And you know, at this point, you don't have to make it full. I just like it a little full and dramatic. <laughs> that's just how I like my hair when I when I do it. And if these pieces are sticking out, that's okay. You can either spray them and tuck them in or just like leave them and let it be more like loose and natural. I think either is fine. Um, you could also put your hair in like a fishtail braid or I don't know, just leave it as is, put it in two braids. I saw JLo once, she had her hair like it was so thick and long, she had like three braids. And then we like braid it together, it looked really cool. So any inspiration you get from like celebrities or Pinterest or anything, just try it. Clip and extensions are so versatile. I probably put them in most of the brides that I style. They have some sort of extension in their hair. It just guarantees your hair a good, a good hair day. And it guarantees your curls lasting all day, which I know most people want. So I'm just kind of, my hair is really layered, so I'm just trying to kind of tuck under, tuck in, I should say, my, my layers. So your hair only has to be like maybe collarbone length to wear this style. And then you could just fuss with it a little bit, get it as full as you want. And I always say the more hairspray, the better. You know, that's a guaranteed style. You could probably even sleep in this and wear it the next day, because it's pretty secure. But that's pretty much it. That's how you get a high dramatic ponytail. And it's comfortable and it's awesome for the summer or, or any special event or party. Thanks for watching.